So when you have a voice over IP installation, you're usually going to have a few components. At a minimum, you're going to have to have your uh, ISP's modem, um, and sometimes ISP modems are actually also switches, like this Comcast Business Gateway happens to be both a modem and a switch. It's got four ports, switch ports on the back. Now this installation is actually a little more fancy. I've got an Edgewater router, um, which is the next thing connected to the uh, the ISP modem, and then I've also got a PoE switch. So if you can see the back, I can't really reach around back there, get my whole head back there, but I'm going to hold it where maybe you can kind of see. The Comcast, or the ISP modem, is uplinked to the Edgewater router, and then from the router, this little blue cord here comes around and goes to the last port on the switch. And then from the switch, um, there's cables that go to the phones. Okay, so those are my uh, Polycom Voice over IP phones. Now, what's important to note here is that these switch ports come in two flavors. Power over Ethernet, which is on the left-hand side of the switch, and then also just regular non-powered ports. It's important that if I'm connecting uh, Voice over IP phones that need power over Ethernet, that I use one of these PoE uh, ports.